All right, here we are. Another Wednesday. We've made it another uh, another hump day. Here we are. What do we got? Uh, October 21st. There it is on the computer, too. I always like looking at that calendar. It's a fun little calendar. Anyways, how's everybody doing tonight? Um, we'll get things uh, tuned in, tuned up, and then we'll uh, start tying uh, some flies tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to be uh, keeping it basic, keeping it simple, keeping it easy, uh, as well as keeping it small. Uh, we are going to be tying up some uh, brassies, and we're going to be making, obviously, some different variations and varieties and seeing... Um, what we can do with that. Let's see here. I'm trying to pull up my YouTube on my iPod so I can see the chats. That way I don't have to get the whole computer over there. I can just get this over there. Nope. And that way it gives everybody a few minutes to tune in. Let's see here, my channel. Here we are. All right, we are tuned in and looks like things are working. So how's everybody doing tonight? Happy Wednesday. This is a uh, Project Healing Water special. Uh, this is in support of my local Project Healing Waters fly fishing program. Um, we used to meet out at the St. Cloud VA Hospital every week, every Wednesday from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We'll tie some flies. Uh, you know, there was only just a handful of occasions, whatever miss a week and that would usually would depend on uh, holidays and certain things like that and that would be more on the VA uh, side of it getting canceled or you know just room not being available um, and I remember was it last year or the year before uh, we actually had a session that was gosh I don't even know 20 below 30 below zero I mean the the truck the truck definitely needed uh, some time to warm up and it definitely needed the four-wheel drive uh, to get us there but all right so yeah how's everybody doing tonight oh, I always like giving it a few minutes it says nobody's watching that's odd how can that be possible because I know of at least one viewer and that's me it says that there's two in the chat. Say hi in the chat. Don't forget to say hi in the chat when you come in and check in. Let me know how many people are uh, joining us on these live streams. So we got a good amount of snow. We'll tell you that for free. Um, I guess depending on uh, what side of town you're on, you got about five to seven inches here in St. Cloud. So. Oh. All right, well, we're going to just go ahead and slide on over to the bench and uh, just start tying up some flies tonight. We've got a few hours to go, and I got the camera zoomed in buku. Close. We got her zoomed in. All right. So the hooks I'm using tonight, or at least on this first one, uh, we got it pretty darn small, in my opinion. We got this down to a size 16. Uh, this is a uh, just a basic barbless hook, and you're probably going to say that's a that's a funny way to get the hook in the vise, and you would be correct. What I am going to use is a small little bead. This is a small little glass bead, and I, well, you know, maybe for this first one, 
Yeah, this first one I'm just going to go with the glass. They're black. It's a black glass bead. And they're super teeny tiny. What I do is I press it down onto the bench with my finger. And then it just kind of sticks to it. Just like that. Good evening, Mr. Anderson. You had a fun morning standing out at the bus stop I saw. Looked kind of chilly. All right. So we'll get our teeny tiny little size 16 in there. And um, actually, I'm going to start off with a smaller thread. When I tie small flies, quote unquote, I like to try to get away with as small a thread as I can. And I believe this is a 14 knot. Pretty darn small. So this would be a, a uh, you know, obviously with a brassy, um, you can tie them bigger or smaller, um, so on and so forth. And let's. Because I'm going with the size 16, um, you know, the the brassy sized wire, I believe, is actually going to be a little bit too big for us. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just give that a try. I haven't tied one of these in a while. This is a, uh, not just a bright copper, it's a copper brown so compared to the bright shiny copper. It almost has an orange, orange hue to it. I like this because it's just not quite as bright, but I don't know. This is a BR, BR brassy sized. Uh, we're tying a brassy, and I think this is, I think this is going to come out just a little bit too big, um, and we can go a little bit smaller, I think. <clears throat> So anyways, uh, we started our thread directly behind that little tiny little glass, black glass bead. And I am going to tie in our wire directly behind that. And that is, you know, I think there's, there's so many different ways we could tie a brassy. It's one of those flies, I think it's kind of like a woolly bugger. There's so many different ways that, you know, you, one could actually tie a brassy, you know, it just depends on the hook you want to tie it on, etc. etc. Alright, run that all the way to the back and then we'll bring our thread forward. Ah, oh, well, hey, you do what you gotta do. Uphill both ways in the snow. I remember riding the bus back in the day. It was definitely different. So, one advantage that we do have by having this little glass bead up front uh, is it reduces the risk of quote unquote crowding the eye. Sometimes the beginner fly tires have a tendency of getting close to that eye and it's easy to do. And this is like I always say, a way. A way to tie these. Um, you know, I don't think this should, you know, anything I tie should never be deemed as, you know, the only way to tie it. Alright, so maybe one more. I'm leaving just a little bit of room up front because I'm going to make myself a little bit of a collar. And because, um, you know, this wire itself is the body, is the main body itself, we don't necessarily have to um, really be specific as far as it being a uh, counter wrap or a counter, you know, we're not having to wrap it backwards. 
All right, peacock hurl. I'm going to take two strands, not one, but two. Tie them in, tips forward. And I'll just break those tips off. I like to take my little pliers here. This helps me grab them. I'm going to give them a little bit of a twist. Clockwise. This will help just kind of spiral that out, puff that out. Maybe just a one, two, three. Feels more like just a one, two. Don't want to go two bananas with it. As we know um, from tying everything before, less is more, more or less. Let's keep things sparse because sparse is nice. All right, super simple. There it is. We'll just come in with our whip finish and give it the old one, two, three whip. Right behind the eye, right behind the eye of that hook. One, two, three. Remember, this is a tiny thread, not a big thread, so I can't pull on it like I'm a big, strong gorilla. Actually, that turned out pretty... Pretty darn nice. How's the clarity on that? It, it sometimes I th it's hard to see in my camera because I don't know. It's hard to see with the contrast and the glares and all the different lights and such. But I think that looks pretty darn slick. I like that. So that's just kind of a way. To tie a black glass bead head brassy, and we could tie these with uh, you know an infinite number of possibilities as far as bead heads up front, and then just as much uh, you can go. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, no bead at all. Go beadless. Because, I mean, for the most part, the uh, body itself is adding adding the weight. All right, so here goes another way to tie this. Let's get this one off to the side. We're going to end up tying a few of these. Let's get you in there. Okay, so that one was tied with the wire tied in um, up front and ran all the way to the rear. Now, if you, we were to do that again and we were to just start our uh, wire halfway back, um, then we, you would end up with a small little bump. And that's what we're going to want to avoid. So let's try that again, and we're going to do our wire just a tick differently. You know, it might might surprise some people, it might not. Okay, same thing. This is a uh, small little glass, black glass bead. I got a small little container of these. Um, if you get them... If you get them just from like a Joanne Fab or the, the craft store, quote-unquote, in a multi-pack... You know, for all intents and purposes, yes, technically those will work, but you're going to find you'll have a lot more of those beads that you'll never use or never want to use based on their size because they actually get quite big pretty quick and they just don't stay on behind the eye of the hook. So, you know, it doesn't take much. Uh, I, I have found uh, some small, tiny, tiny ones at, uh, you know, glass bead shops. Whenever I get to a, a bead if I hit, well, you know, here I am talking talking pre-COVID stuff back before when we could go shopping and all that, driving around and that. But uh, you'd be surprised. Find yourself a bead shop. Go in, start talking to them. Let them know what you do, what you're looking for, and you're looking for tiny, tiny stuff. Tiny, tiny stuff. And this actually, it does kind of nod its head down just a little bit. Uh, 
because of that down eye. Always something to consider um, when we're looking at hooks and beads and junk and stuff is do you want a straight eye versus a down eye? And if we had a straight eye, obviously that bead would sit perfectly straight, but this is because it's a down eye and it's just the right size and everything. It looks like that's just going to kind of nod its head down. And you know what? For me, here tonight, tonight, that's just fine with me. All right. Now this is something may or may not surprise some people, but before we go too far, we already got our uh, bead up there. Wire, same thing, same brassy, kind of copper brown, same copper brown, br, br for what? Brassy. All right, check this out. What is he doing? Can I do that? Am I allowed to do just the wire? Absolutely. All right, let's give that a trim off at the back end. And I'm really kind of push and work that down. And because we got all these wraps, I'm going to take that all the way right up to behind that bead. I almost, I just about almost grabbed my scissors <laughs> to trim that off. We're going to bounce you back, give you a little, just a little bit of squeeze, a little bit of compression, expose just a little bit of that bare shank of the hook up front. Behind the beat of that. Because <clears throat> we still want to get a little peacock. Alright, now we're going to wrap just on top of that. Just a wee little bit. All right, now check this out. We're gonna come in with just the tiniest little dab. A little dab of what? Zappa, 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 gappa, zappa, zappa, gappa. And I mean just a little dot, little, little dab right on the bodkin. Just a little. What I'll do is I'll just get a little drop and I'm going to apply that right on the back end. There we go. Good enough, yes? Oh, that stuff is strong. All right, peacock curl. I'm gonna go with our one-two. The old one-two punch on the peacock curl. Tips forward. And we'll just break those tips right off. Twist it forward clockwise. All right, one, two, three, maybe. Oh, we don't want to go two bananas. Don't want to go two bananas. A couple locking wraps behind. All right, we'll 
we'll just go right into our whip finish and we're going to call this a uh, brassy. Now admittedly it's not the world's most stable fly the way that's tied but seriously how many fish do you really need to catch on on that and if it comes unraveled you still have the hook so you know salvage the hook and take her from there Johnny all right so this one uh, let's compare it to this one I mean there's not much difference as far as the size of the body other than the fact that this has a uh, wire all the way underneath it Well, those are two little brassy buddies. I mean, if you ask me, the size difference is virtually negligible. So, let's continue on. We're going to tie a, probably a small batch of these tonight. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Nope. At first I thought the screen was frozen again. But now that we got nine people... Uh, let's uh, just take a second and check in now that we've got uh, nine of us watching. Let's switch our camera over to the me. Uh, let's see here. To the face. There we go. Camera two. Uh, let's zoom in. Um, there we go. Hey, how's it going? All right. So there's nine of us here tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. We do this every week, every Wednesday. Happy hump day. Um... Yeah, I'm supporting a project, Healing Waters Fly Fishing. Uh, go ahead and check them out. We got the the link is scrolling below. Let's see, it goes this way. Projecthealingwaters.org. Um, good stuff out there. Um, you know, obviously right now everything is completely different with uh, coronavirus, um, distancing, this, that, and the other. Um and it is, uh, you know, that's our current situation, um, but that is not our uh, permanent uh, situation. Current situation, but not our permanent situation. Um, I really do looking, am looking forward to uh, getting back to teaching face to face and this, that, and the other. And I don't know, it's tough. Um, you know, I did it for so many years, and we, I really enjoy uh, the aspect of teaching. And I actually, I saw for the very first time a uh, Zoom, a Zoom fly tying class. And I'd be interested to see, uh, you know, how that would uh, work out as far as, you know, being able to help, uh, actually, you know, help others as far as, I don't know. 90% of the time, I, you know, I really don't even need to see what you guys are tying because, what it actually looks like at the end I mean you can compare it to a picture I mean it's easy to look at this and look at that and see the differences um, but you know it's one of those things uh, do as I say not as I do or do as I do and what as I say is I don't know how that goes um, but all I can impart is you know really words of wisdom and, and you know that's that's it I got a million and one catchphrases, one-liners, zingers, wonkers, zonkers. What do you guys call them? I don't know. They're not quite dad jokes. I'm not a dad, and they're not really meant to be funny. They're supposed to help you remember. But anyways, let's tie up some more brassies. I kind of slurped my coffee here. So let's go ahead and switch the camera back over. Uh, thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, I think well, at least me... Well, no, I got to get, ah, uh, uh, winter fishing, winter fly fishing. It's a thing. It's a matter of getting the back and the body and the mind all together to do it at the same time. Um, yeek. But let's go ahead and tie some flies. Let's get the bench camera back turned on. There we go. And we're going to tie this one on just a slightly differently because that's what we do.
one of the things that I really enjoy is really trying to see how many really different ways you can take a fly and tie it so it's actually different. In a somewhat sense, with it still being close. All right, you're probably saying that's a funny way to get the hook in the vise. You'd be correct. It is a silly way. Because that helps me get my bead in. And I'm using teeny tiny little... You know what? I've done two of the black bead heads already. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go to a... White. And... What you're looking for is silver. Sometimes I'm... You know, there's just clear glass beads. And then these ones... These ones are actually this. It's it's a clear bead, but I believe it's a silver, silver lined S L silver lined um, glass bead. This is gonna give us a nice little, little different front end there. All right, for this one we're actually. Uh, start with our thread up front. Dale is in the house. Good evening. Richard's in the house. Just got in from the deer blind. Uh, went in the water with my waiters the other day. I'll need to toughen up. That was some cool. Well, see, the thing is, is when you get when you get to where we're going, the water's warm. The water's warmer than the air. Which is kind of, you know, an interesting phenomenon. All right, so this one, we're gonna continue on with that same, same wire, same brassy size, brown copper. For those of you who are just joining, we are not using a standard kind of copper. We're going with a, a darker, darker copper. And we're gonna tie this one in just a few wraps right behind the eye and. There, nice and tight. All right, and this one we're going to wrap from front to rear. And we left a little gap behind the uh, bead. We still left that room for that collar. We're just going to take touching wraps. And being, you know, this is a size 16, I don't know. You almost have to just go on faith that everything is lining up. Cause it's like I, I'm not really watching to see where the wire is landing. Rather, it's more of a feel. And if you know if you got the right tension in the right direction, and guess what? It all works out. All right, let's keep it going. We're going to go just maybe one more. One more wrap. Oh, that's it. Nope, one more. I liked it. All right, so now we're all the way to the rear. What are we going to do? Let's turn and burn. Same forward wrap, but now our forward wrap now is a counter wrap to the reverse wrap of the backwards wrap. And we can space this out and give ourselves a little bit of a ribbing on top of all this. See what we did there? And the spacing, I, uh, for me, my general rule of thumb is I like to keep it about the same width as a eye's length. So the size of the eye is about the size of that ribbing, more or less. All right, let's get this tucked in. All 
All right. So how is Iowa, Dale? You're down in Iowa, right? If I remember correctly, I, I used to have a cheat sheet. I used to roll with a cheat sheet on, when I used to Instagram, I used to go on Instagram quite a bit. And I'd do all these different live streams on Instagram. And I had a sheet of where everybody was from that would join me on the, on the Instagram live streams. But I haven't done an Instagram live stream in quite some time. I really don't do it on any platform other than here on, on YouTube. So if you want to see these live, you got to check them out on YouTube. Two strands peacock curl. We'll lock those in. I'll just break those tips off. And then we can come in with a Make sure I have those all the way back. You gotta give yourself a little bit of room for that little, little fuzzy thorax. And we lost one, and we lost two. That's gonna be my opportunity to silently swear in my own mind. Yeah, seven to nine inches of snow on Monday, and it's all gone now. Well, we got, I don't know, we got a few inches here um, yesterday. And we should be getting a couple more um, again tonight. And most of it kind of slushed and compacted down. The roads are clear. The roads were terrible yesterday. But, I don't know, when you drive a... Front wheel drive four door four banger hatchback. What do you expect? Sometimes I drive the car to save on the gas mileage because the truck that likes to just suck it down. That's going to be it. I'm not going to go two bananas with this. Cause I, with the two strands, all it just takes is a couple of turns. Here we go. How about it? How about it? Hey, hey. I kind of like that one with the little uh, added ribbing twist. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So I'm trying to think of a pattern for next week. And I am thinking something along the lines of, I don't know, I want to do something Halloween-y. Um, you know, in all my years in the past, I really haven't, I don't think I've tied like a Halloween special as far as anything like that um, I don't know maybe I should do a live stream on Halloween Ooh. I don't know what do you guys think I'll tell you what these flies they these brassies they tie up quick fast and in a hurry because here we are only what 26 36 minutes into it and we're our one two tray in and, you know, 
you can't, there's only one way to fill up a fly box, and that's to tie the flies. Hmm. I had an idea for next week. Let me know what you think. Um. Not necessarily um, having everybody decide what fly to tie by suggestions. I want you guys, it would almost be like an improv night, right? Where we talk about some different um, colors of things, different materials of things, and we can just uh, through the suggestions that are shouted out from the crowd um, based on its availability of stuff and if it's not too hard to uh, dig out um, I think we could definitely kinda go down some different rabbit holes together during a two hour live stream as far as uh, let's start with a, a this hook and then somebody else can chime in with we can um, use that tail or you know we could, hey you know kind of have some standards with it but uh, I don't know what do you guys think some sort of fly tying improv uh, kind of like a freestyle but um, based off of your guys's and gals's um, suggestions um, hey Dave thanks for tuning in appreciate it um, so yeah, I'm thinking of like a fly tying improv night. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, not necessarily tie this specific pattern, um, because I don't know, I get a little jittery when sometimes they're like, tie of this exact pattern. I don't know. I get a little nervous on the cuff, but, um, yeah, so this is a, um, a version of a brassy. And like I said, um, you know, and I'll always continue to say it, uh, you know, I really like to, uh, you know, this is uh, a way to tie it. This is how I'm tying it tonight. Um, nothing I ever do should ever be considered the be-all, end-all ways of doing anything. Unless we're talking about being me. Because only I can be me. All right. So there's that one. That one's just kind of wrapped around with a little dab of uh, Zappa Gap on the end. And that is with the wire tied up on the inside and then just turned out. All with, uh, well, the first two have the uh, black bead heads and the second one has a uh, silver lined uh, clear glass. So let's shake things up a little bit. I got an idea. Let me reach over here and grab this wire. If it's still there, it is. Yes. All right. Wait till you see what we got going on next. That's going to be our next, our next one. All right. Have our little little helper hold our hold our hook in the vise all right so we've done black glass we've done clear and here we go green what I do is I just press my finger down on the bench I get a bead and I get it onto the bench and then I just push my finger down on it for just a second I mean you know you can still see the imprint of where it was and if you have a vice that's fortunate enough to yoke around a little bit, then there you have it. All right. And, you know, as close as these manufacturers and good as they are with their mass production of these tiny little glass beads, um, each bead will be different. Uh, if you count on them all being exactly the same shape and size, you're going to be wrong. You're going to have a whole bunch of stuff that's pretty darn close. 
but not quite. All right. All right, here we go. Extra small green. We're gonna do, um, this is actually just gonna be a ribbing. So we're gonna tie this in, run this from front to rear. All the way to the back end. All right, we'll leave that back there. And we'll come in with our... Oh, 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 instead of that brassy, copper brown. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. This is a brassy wire and black. We're down to the last few turns on this one, but we'll make them count with our little emerald glass bead up front. Alright, I'm going to tie this in up front. We're going to palm right towards the rear. Touching wraps. Nice and close. Couple more wraps, and we'll be there. All right, I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off first. I might regret this. I might not. But it sure beats a helicopter. <clears throat> okay, because I wrapped that way, going that way, I want to go that way, that way. So, in fact, I'm just going to take a wrap or two back here because this is a super, super fine little green wire. And I'm hoping it'll even show up on this black. which is kind of, sort of, not really. One of those things, I guess, it's like, well, as long as we know it's there, we'll know it's there. Yeah, well. Better than to have not tried it at all. I had a vision for it. Kind of like that with the green in there. Might be able to just see a little glint of it. There's just a little sparkle to it. Alright. I think maybe after this one we're going to shift gears. Just a little bit. Remember, keep it sparse. Just a couple of wraps, that's all you need. 
especially if you got two two strands like I got in there. If you go too deep, you'll uh, regret it later. All right, all right, all right. I don't know, it looks better in real life, I guess. It'll work for now, though. I do like that green glass bead. Here we go. I think my personal favorite is with the extra ribbing twist. I think that just gives it a little added, you know, we're, we're talking stuff this small. Of course, they're going to, the fish are going to judge you on the, the smallest detail. I mean, it's what they do, right? All right. Oh, let's, uh, I think I'm going to have to go to a slightly bigger hook. If I switch to the red bead, maybe, maybe not. It just might be an optical illusion. Let's go ahead and try it with the same hook. <clears throat> and we'll try one of these red beads. I think I might have to bump up a bump up a hook size on these red beads. I don't know yet. I think so because it feels a lot bigger. Yeah, I got around. Let's give it a look to uh, we'll try one. We'll try to tie one. Tie one, tie one. Oh, the red, big old red head. That bead just looks so big. I think... I don't know. We'll send it. I think that bead's way too big on there, but I'll let them judge. We'll let them judge us. All right, let's go in with just a straight up. Oh, this is small. That's a medium. Straight up. Straight up. Oh yeah, when I hit the water winter fishing, it, you really want to go with comfortable clothes underneath, really, too. You know, it's a couple layers of nice underpants followed by a layer of two of stuff that actually now Josh let me ask you all right for all of us who are tuned in tonight who uh, were in the service we're gonna talk undergarments here warm weather gear undergarments all right so when I first enlisted we had the waffles I call them the waffles just like the you know your Undergarments, what do you call it though? Long underwear, long johns, some people would call them. 
and they were like the waffle kind. And then we switched to the polypros, and they were brown. Everything was a little brown fuzzy thing. And then they changed colors to black. And then we got issued, it was almost like a ninja suit, and that's like Under Armour was invented. And everything was Under Armour. And all of a sudden, I don't know why, but over in Iraq, the thing of it was, everybody wanted to wear a skin-tight, quote-unquote, moisture-wicking Under Armour shirt that was like four sizes too small. It's like they only made them in small. I don't know. That was the thing. But did it really matter underneath all that gear? I guess it was kind of nice having the the skin tight stuff to that way you didn't bunch up and bind. But all right. I really like the look of that body. I think it goes on relatively easy too. You know what, just because I have it sitting here, maybe we'll do that on our next one. I'll do that with a black bead. Strands of peacock. And I like to give it a little twist. I actually have worn my, uh, I've been wearing my field jacket straight up OD green camouflage, woodland camo, olive drab, woodland camo colored, uh, field jacket. I got two of them, and one of them has the liner. Uh, the only downside of those is they don't have hoods. I don't have the hoods for them. Because my Gore-Tex, my Gore-Tex jacket, woodland camo, is the zipper's dying on me. So it's like, what do you do? I don't know. Military clothing is always kind of interesting. You know, it's like I, I remember, you know, getting standard issues, uh, you know, the dress uniform, and you're looking at the uh, tag on the inside of it and your necktie was sewn by the Alabama Institution for the Blind. So you have blind or visually impaired personnel um, sitting there at sewing machines manufacturing neckties for the military. And you know it kind of made me sad knowing that the individuals that were actually performing the labor were probably getting paid pennies on the dollar and whoever was probably getting paid hundreds and thousands of dollars for their uh, per necktie. What do we think? I think that red one, I, th I like the red one, but I think the bead, I think with that bead I would need a longer... I would need a longer shank to make it really worth the wild. Let's check and see. I might be able to switch. I wanted to do a red, a black bead. I got a black bead here first. We'll do that one, and then we'll do the other one. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just having fun tying brassies at this point.
All right, where'd we go? We're gonna stick with the same hook. We're gonna go with the same. I like that bright copper wire on that one with that red. I know we're gonna go with the black. We're gonna go with the black head, black black bead this time. It's about as easiest way as I can think of to getting the bead on. Hey Josh, thanks for tuning in. Josh and Josh, have you guys met? The Husingfeld Life, that's my brother. His name is Josh. He's got a big old beard too. I gotta think y'all's beards are about even right about now. I think actually my brother's might be a little bit shorter. He gave his a uh, close little trim here. He used to be at Gandalf. Uh, level and now it's I don't know somewhere in between all right wait till you see what we got cooked up for this one I think this one's gonna be pretty sweet oh ba -doo -ba -doo. brassy Brassy. This fly is brought to you by the letters BR, and that stands for Brassy. And tell him what she's won. Right behind that bead head. Right behind there. Ooh, that's nice. Nice and close, touching wraps from front to rear. If you try to stare too closely with your naked eye, your eyes might go cross-eyed, they might go blurry. There was a good article, uh, good article, good segment I listened to on the radio today, talking about, you know, signs and symptoms and things to look out. You know, here we are six seven months into all the shenanigans and one of them was eye fatigue and screen time and things like that so you know from time to time you need to take a break from binge watching all my playlists and uh, stare at something other than a screen for 20 seconds oh they said for for 20 minutes of screen time, you need to, you need to, or for, for every two minutes of screen time, you need to look away for 20 seconds, or something like that. Avert your eyes. All right, so. This is where things get a little, a little weird, because some of you guys may or may not know, I like taking peacock curl, and I like mixing it with um, color combinations of ostrich, and this one is just going to be a little red, a little red ostrich with our peacock. One and one. It's a 50-50 mix. 50-50 blend. Alright. This is where the magic happens. Y'all ready for this? Boop, 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 boop. So. Oh, and I just... What happened is I, I looked away and I lost my concentration. I'm too busy jibber-jabbering. Oh. 
That's the first time that's happened to me on this fly tonight. Alright, we're gonna... Because we only need a little bit. So if you're into off-roading or Jeeps or whatever, I encourage you to check out the Husing what's it? The Husing Feld Life. My brother's got a Jeep and he goes off-roading. And he's just earned his very first Jeep badge of honor, as they say, as they call it. Hmm. It might be a little bit too much. Kind of looks like the... I don't know, it might not be too much. Let's get this all away and check it out. I don't know. Is that too much or no? I don't think so. With a little red in there? Why not? I like that little red gill on there. Hmm. Hmm. I think... I think this one might be my favorite so far. Who do you think? I like it with the red. <laughs> Ow. Tell you what, one thing to keep into consideration as things uh, start to uh, uh, keep into consideration as we move into these colder, colder months, stretch. Stretch your body. Take a minute. Stretch your arms. If you're going to go take a walk, stretch your legs, stretch your back. Um... Red will look good with a black body. Let's give that a, I'll give that a whirl too. All right, Josh Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Given what you know now um, with the brassies that we've tied thus far, what should we do? Black head, black body, red hack or red uh, thorax? Or do we do, I kind of like that idea. Basically, as it is right now, as we see it, but we replace the bright copper body with the black body. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Reboot the beard. Shaved it off the month ago. Yep, the beard is rebooted. Reboot the beard. Mm. We are out of coffee. So hopefully I won't get a uh, tickle in my throat. The ostrich adds depth. And that's what we like. We like. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll get my ugly mug off of here. Oops, wrong one. Let's go back to that one. All right, let's do this. I am having so much fun tonight. I'm really having a good time tonight, and I hope you are too. Um, really excited. Let's go.
And these, so far tonight, um, you know, these are all on uh, the size, these are size 16 little, um, I just have them labeled as wet, as a wet fly, ML5053, size 16s. Um, but, um, you know, you can go with a caddis curve hook. That's absolutely um, an option. There's all, you know, imagination is your only limitation when it comes to brassies, I suppose. Like I said earlier on, it's just kind of one of those, one of those flies that at a certain point, you know, it's kind of the sky's the limit. And I guess another thing I, I, I will point out is I'm not going to spend too much time at the front, at the very beginning, trying to build this big giant dam up to prevent that bead from sliding around. Because by the time I get that wire on there and get everything else tied in and up and on, that bead's not going anywhere. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely glued down, nailed down. Uh, at the very, very beginning, you got a little bit of wiggle room. Now, where in the world? Here it is. A little pile of pile of wire over here. All right. Tie that in right behind that bead. Go back probably about a bead's length. Because that's going to be our thorax. Let's wrap this from front to rear. Nice and tight. And then we'll do an open space ribbing working our way forward. It's kind of my favorite way to tie these in. Of all the different methods. Be mindful, even though it's wire, the tip of that hook can still uh, violate the integrity of the strength. Let's go one more, one more to the rear. Because if that bend was a turn, if that bend was a clock. Take it to maybe 11 o'clock. Here we go. Tell you what, when I woke up this morning, it sure as heck did not feel like a Wednesday. But I knew it was because it's garbage day. And the garbage trucks drive by. And my alarm goes off. Says, hey Aaron, don't forget to take out the trash. Anybody else have a phone that's just built full of alarms? To remind you to do things every week on the or on the daily. If you have so many alarms, you have to label them. Then you know you got enough alarms.
All right, one red, ostrich, one peacock. I don't want this to fail me now, so we'll uh, just add a little, little twist of uh, scissors. A little forward twist, and uh, there is admittedly a balancing act between too much and not enough twist. I think that's going to be us. Just enough red in there. A A Ron, I like that. By Jove, I think we're on to something. That's what my phone is mainly used for. The reality is, uh, you know, right now I get so many phone calls from the cities. Six five one six one two area code phone calls coming in. You know seven eight nine ten a day, and it, it's it's to the point where it's just you know I don't even answer. I, I never answer my phone anymore. I, I have to see who you are before I answer it, and most of them they don't leave a message, and uh, I don't know. Also being AA Ron, believe it or not, I am on the top of most people's uh, phone directories. And if you're going to uh, pocket dial, butt dial, anybody alphabetically, dollars to donuts, um, I'm the one that answers. And I tell you what, nothing will make me listen to uh, of the phone any more intensely than knowing that you have butt dialed me because then at that point I just want to figure out what the heck's going on I'm just listening where are you what are you doing all right let's see what do we got we got Pete's in the house good evening Pete thanks for tuning in evening all alarm to get up and that's the only alarm oh I gotta have a million of them I like that. What do you guys think? I need to give my eyes a little rest. Step away from that. And maybe we'll chat here for a few minutes. And then we'll get back and tie a few more. All right, let's get the camera switched over. There we go. So, here we are, all 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 of us. I'll stop rocking back and forth. Ugh, I had to just sit up and stretch my neck, stretch my back. Kind of, kind of hard tying these flies with the camera. Um, in between myself and the and the bench or in the vice, but it works. It's all good. We don't mind. I'm used to it at this point. So what do we say? Um, next week, now that we've got a little bit of an audience here, um, what I want to do next week, um, and I'm going to kind of think about it a little bit more on how it's actually going to shake down and work out. But I'm thinking next week I want to, you know, maybe I'll try. No, I'll do it. I'll do it next week. Um, we're going to think about doing uh, some sort of kind of like an improv theater night, but an improv fly tying night where 
uh, I'll ask for suggestions on colors and materials and then we together can uh, build a fly um, you know it's kind of gonna be one of those things hey give me an, a material for a tail and y'all can shout something out or you know well let's do a dry fly or let's do a streamer of sorts or something I don't know what do you think what do you think wow Just like that, everybody disappears. <laughs> I think that I'll take that as a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. We went from ten of us watching. We we literally lost half our half our people watching the second I turned the camera on my ugly mug and start talking about stuff. But I don't know. Um, next week, let's plan on. I, I feel like that should be something we could try, and we'll have to go on everybody's suggestions and. Um, you know, there's about a 30 second delay between what I speak and what you guys uh, see. Uh, at least I think that's what the delay is. On this, I've got 1918.32.19.18.08. So. Yeah. All right. We're going to continue on our mission of tying up some of these little brassies. I really like the look of that one. Maybe we'll try one with a different uh, different ostrich. I like that little little dab of red in there. Black on black with a little bit of red. Yeah, let's give that a try with a little dab of uh, chartreuse, maybe. Add a little chartreuse in the mix. So if you're just joining us, this is what we have been tying tonight. Kind of starting with more or less, uh, you know, just a little bead head brassies. Look like how big that red, that red head is. That red bead head is. It's huge. It's ginormous. All right, hook in the vise. Give you all something to something to look at. We got one out already. Just set your beads on the bench. Put your finger on it. And that's it. But it did. Too easy. Too easy. black body on this one. We'll do another one with the black body. Little teeny tiny little black glass bead. Little size 16 hook. back as big as you want that thorax or gills I guess, whatever you want to call it a 
Just work away front to rear, touching wraps. Nice and tight. Slack is evil. Problem when it gets dark at six o'clock. It's absolutely crazy. Thinking about during the summer months, uh, we used to take the veterans out fly fishing. Wow, that seemed forever ago. It wasn't this year? Uh, you know, going out to the being, getting on the water and getting off the water. And still having plenty of sunlight. Maybe one more wrap. When I'm working my wire, I'm kind of letting it slide in my fingertips. I'm not just grabbing a pinch on it and, and pulling it from there because then you're kind of doing that helicopter technique and you'll end up snippy snapping that wire in your fingertips. And you don't want that, do you? That's not what we're trying to do. That's not what we're after here. What's the end game? All right. Oh, buddy. I tell you what. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Peacock, one chartreuse ostrich. I'll give those a, a big old twist. Everything stays behind that bead. And it's kind of a foolproof way to keep yourself from crowding the eye. Uh, it doesn't get much easier than that. But Aaron, instead of crowding the eye, I crowded the bead. Well, that happens too, I guess. All right, a little chartreuse greenery in there. Oh. A little something something. Well, that'll get them, that'll get their attention. That'll get their attention. Alright. You're just cooking along tonight. 
Boy, we've tied what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight flies. We got about another 30 minutes to go. We'll get a couple more in. All right, let's do something with the silver beads now. I like the look of the uh, clear, clear silver glass, or the gla clear silver lined glass bead. Extra small. X S, if you will. Just like that. The patented Aaron trick to get your bead on. Void were prohibited, not available in all stores. I have any brassy size. Let's see, that's small, 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 small. Yes, yes, yes. Too easy. So all these live streams, I keep them archived in a playlist. It should be accessible to you guys and gals to uh, click on. And you can just let these just kind of play in the background while you take a nap. If you need to put anybody to sleep, feel free to use my videos. That is A-OK -okay with me. But I like to keep try to keep things, in my mind, at least somewhat as organized as I can. Um, I have these Project Healing Water live streams all on a playlist. I have my morning coffee uh, Monday mornings. Because we do this again Monday mornings for about an hour. Well, I suck down a cup of coffee. Great way to start a week, man. Great way to start a week. An hour at the bench. Cup of coffee. Jibber jabbering. Just 
It's almost like sitting at the uh, at the old breakfast joints. Remember, remember when we used to get together and have breakfast? I was thinking, um, oh, what were we thinking? We are talking the other day out in East Lansing, East Lansing, Michigan. Tony's. Getting some Tony's for breakfast. Oh, man, that brings me back. Greasy, greasy. That and, um, I don't know. You guys let me know. Yay or nay? Waffle House. To me... That's a big thumbs up. Oh, I love me some Waffle House. It's been a hot minute. Alright, let's try... Another color we know fish like. Brought to you by the color yellow. it. You go too far, you'll get too much. Kind of like the yellow. a red bead yellow and uh, you know yellow set up like this and we're gonna try our kind of a copper orange orangish brown It's a little bit smaller wire, but I think we'll get it to work. I like this one. I really do. I really like that uh, black Black, red, and black. Oh, that's a good one, too. I mean, they're all good. Alright, continuing on, 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 on. Okay, so we are going to switch it up just a tick. And go with a uh, slightly smaller, the next size smaller wire. Um, and we're going to see what happens with it. 
we've been for the most part tying with uh, brassy size wire BR not to be confused with BRB or B right back but just BR Kind of like the shape of that bead. It's less, more like it's more, more like a donut, less like a roll of toilet paper. Kind of shape and size. I like that. Okay, this is small. This isn't a uh, brassy size. This isn't BR. This is small. This is uh, a smaller wire. And we'll see if we can get this to stick. Tied on just the same. We're going to wrap this from front to back and then we'll space it out doing a ribbing working our way forward. Boy, that is hot. <laughs> Touching wraps. Being a smaller wire, boy, it's taking a lot more wraps to get from the front to the rear. But boy, that is hot. That is electric. We're going to go right down into that bend, just a wrap or two. Space these wraps out working our way forward. I think that'll work. about sticking with the yellow. Ooh. Or... Boy, this is pretty beat up. But we'll give it a try. Tip. 
So this is almost, this one's going to be like a fire brassy. It's hot. It's, it's like road cone orange. OSHA orange. Boy, this is almost like a Halloween brassy. Oh, we lost it up top. Let's see if we can regain control and we saved it. I don't know, a little different than uh, the other ones. Get a little bit of that orange kind of tucked in there. I think maybe this one will just, uh, ooh, a peacock and black. It'll be kind of like the opposite of the other one. I don't know, we got time for one more. We'll squeak one more out. And then, um, then we'll start winding down. Uh, get back in there. There we go. We'll squeak one more out. Um, that one I wanted to do. Put that all off to the side. All right, last fly of the evening, and then we're going to call our quits. We'll start winding down. We'll get ourselves another kind of reddish orange. See, so yeah, at first, one would say these were red beads. But upon having it right next to something, you know, orange. Maybe it doesn't look so red as it does look orange. I don't know. It depends on the light, I guess. It also depends on who you ask or who really cares. <laughs> Oops. Size 16s these all are tonight. Um, you could tie them anywhere from, I guess... Go as big as big as wire as you have. Maybe a large wire. You could probably tie it up to maybe a size 10, all the way down to as small as you can tie them, I suppose. 10 to 20, 14 to 20. I wouldn't. Maybe not much bigger than a 14. 16, 14, 12. Yeah, 10, 12s maybe at the biggest. It all comes down to the size of your wire, really. Alright, I like this little body we got going on here. And then the next, or we'll use a, our, our, our uh, ostrich, our peacock. Ostrich, and I'm thinking I'm thinking I have some black ostrich, just adds just a little bit more depth to it. I think. Maybe that'll be my. A big contribution to the fly tying community. The combination of peacock and ostrich hurl. It's one of my favorites, personal. Personal favorites. Whenever I can, I like taking that approach and mixing materials. Down that and just a turn or two. Oh, 
Watch the tip of the hook. Suppose we could just go straight peacock, but that'd be a little easy. I want to add a little black. Just a little, a little bit of black ostrich in here. Do 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 do. And not just the, and not just the straight up. I, I like. I like mixing it. I like the mix because there's no denial that there's something magical about peacock curl. There's something magical about all the colors that it contains within its splendor, its natural wonder. How can one thing have so much color, so much life, so much beauty as the almighty peacock rule? And this will just give it a little bit of body. Didn't add too much, but it's not nothing. I like it. I think the black and red, and this kind of reddish, orangish, and black, are kind of my favorite combos of the evening. I don't know, what do you think? Like little fish. There's no doubt about that. I got how many did we get through tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven flies tonight. Could make it an even dozen if I really wanted to. But I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, you know what we can do. So we can add one that I tied earlier today. So that'll, that'll make a dozen dozen different brassies. A dozen brassies, no two are the same. Can it be? Dozen brassies, no two being the same on purpose. So again, you know, I, I guess this really illustrates uh, the one thing I really love to emphasize, and that being um, that imagination is your only limitation, ladies and gentlemen. You know, please remember that. Don't let anybody tell you, no, you can't do that. You know, I guess one of the few things I always try to emphasize, and that's the fact, is, you know, keep things relative and shape and size to itself. Keep it proportionate to itself. I think that's all that truly, truly, truly matters. Um, and the rest is up to you and the fish. You know, that's a conversation between you and that slimy sucker. Um, yeah, I 
think this one and this one. I think this is my favorite one. Sometimes it's the last one that's always your favorite. That one, and I liked that one. And that's a definite crowd pleaser. Well, we'll leave that one in the vice. Gotta leave one in the vice for the outro. Because that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and just start winding this uh, pup down. Get ready for um, the end of our session. Thank you all for uh, tuning in and joining me. Uh, we do this every week, every Wednesday from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, let's see, coming up next, what will it be? It'll be the 28th. Holy smokes. Next week will be the last week of October. Last Wednesday of October coming up next week. Um, yeah, so be sure to join. Be sure to tune in. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up, that smash, as they say in the biz, smash that like button. Always appreciated. And if you want throughout the week, uh, drop me a comment in the comment section. That too is also always appreciated. I always go back and uh, respond to comments. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just leave it at that. So thank you all for uh, watching. Please stay safe out there. Please stay healthy. Uh, roads are changing. Conditions are changing. Um, yeah. Peace out. Thank you.